All right, I want to make this quick, but we all know it's never quick <laughs> when I'm talking about this stuff. Listen, I want to talk about the state of tech today because it is absolutely depressing and disgusting some of the stuff that I see people posting on Reddit about how unhappy they are working in this field. And it is just showing how bad things are getting. Um you know and there and there's there's two sides to it so one is uh you know i see a lot of posts of people saying these layoffs are destroying morale and the people that are left behind after the layoffs in some ways their morale is even worse than the people that got laid off they don't want to work here anymore they're they're fed up they have you know they have no one's making uh, the correct decisions anymore. They, they don't know what the direction is of the company. You know, uh, people seem to be lost. It's incredible. And then the other thing I saw was this um, post on Reddit, uh, and I, I responded to it. But, uh, you know, the name of it is Sad and Feeling Miserable. And, and the person talks about being in DevOps for eight years. And how there's all this new technology and they don't know how they're going to wrap their head around all of this. How they're going to understand it and how they're going to move on. And they're worried about losing their job and all of all of this other stuff. And this is what the CEOs have pushed down on all these people. It's like, listen, you might lose your job. So there's this war going on now. Let's face it. There is a war going on in tech with CEOs saying, listen, just do what we say because you might lose your job. And employees that have been producing for this this eight years, this guy has been producing, feeling nervous, right? And uh, it's a real, let me just say it, it's a shit show out there. And it's absolutely disgusting. And we're going to get into why this is absolutely disgusting right now, okay? So let's think about the training that is involved in high tech. What training? What training? You get university graduates from places like around here, it'd be U of T in Waterloo. And then you get other people who have 20 years of experience working with Unix and EMC and storage and all this other stuff. And they understand all of the issues and they are helping you to survive. That's what they're doing. The CEOs aren't doing anything, nearly in comparison to all these people that are helping you to survive, because they're like, we can't fail, we can't lose data, we can't do this, we can't do that. Like, this shit has to go. And they're being treated like garbage now. These same people now, where it's like, we're moving this into the cloud, you, you're not catching up with us whatever we don't care and that's how they feel this person in this post he feels like i don't know if i can catch up listen let's be fucking realistic here let's be and i'm going to use the f word again if you can't fucking handle it you fucking idiot ceos let's be fucking realistic here yes we expect people to do training on the side at work these are professionals the amount of training required to understand every fucking possibility of what your company might do. We don't even know. I'm just talking, you're, I'm an employee in, a, in, 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 in any business that is huge, that has a moron manager or whatever. I don't know where the fuck you're going. So am I going to go out there and spend 3,000 hours learning 200 different types of fucking technology because I am fucking paranoid that I'm going to lose my job? This is where this person is. Now, he's only listening, listing 5 to 10 technologies. But is the company going in that way? We don't know. And the question starts to come down to, is... The company responsible for training people if they are making a decision to go in a certain way. 
because right now I'm getting the the impression that they feel they're not responsible. Like they'll do things like say, here's a budget for some training. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you so disorganized as a fucking company that you can't train your employees on what you're doing? And that seems to be exactly where we are today. It is an absolute disgrace. These people should be fired. There is absolutely no fucking excuse for this. To have employees running around wondering what the technology is that they're going to be using is an absolute disgrace. I can't even fucking fathom it. <laughs> you know, I have to pardon, pardon my French. The French must be so upset because like every time the English swear, they're like, uh, blame the French <laughs> for this. Right? It's not their fault. But I was saying I did a response to this guy's post. I said, you know, the funny thing is I spent... Uh, you know, so many hours training people in architectures and and Unix and all of the things that are put together. And then, you know, I'm an old guy now. You can look at me. I'm an old guy. And then it became time where, oh, you have to upgrade to what we're doing now. And I'm like, that's fine. Uh, who was there to train me? Nobody. There's nobody there to train you. Who the, who the fuck do you think you are? We're going to train you? You know, and, and so that is the world that we live in today. And it, it, it is, <laughs> I would advise, like, if things keep up like this, do not get into high tech. Because this is the stupidest thing you could possibly do. You're getting into a role where you don't even know what the technology is going to be in the future, and no one's going to train you on it. Right? Um, it makes stuff like dealing with OS 400 seem like, oh, this is a safe, ha happy home. Well, OS 400 ain't coming back, you know. Um, but it's an absolute failure. And, uh, you know, so we've learned that recently. But then also, you know, I see a lot of these posts. It's like they laid off a bunch of people. There's no reason to. We weren't losing money or anything. And now I'm doing twice as much work as before and all this other bullshit. And there is this morale issue. And I don't know why these companies are, uh, you know, I think part of it has to do with people refusing to go to the office and working from home. And then there were this, this wedge, you know, between management. And they're like, you know what, we're just going to put the fear of God into you. But these people that we're talking about in high tech are a special breed of people. And, they, and, and management doesn't get it. You know, and everything can fall apart very quickly um, if you start screwing with these people, which over the last few years, pardon me, is what they've been doing. So that's part of the conversation today. Where is tech today? Well, part of it is that tech is mismanaged by a bunch of morons. That's one thing. And I'm not saying all companies. I mean, NVIDIA seems to be doing well and all that. Uh, but the other part of tech is the stock market. And we're talking about that right now because there's been a huge sell-off because everyone wants to, <laughs> they want the riches from AI to be delivered. Why aren't we delivering the riches from AI? And there's huge sell-offs on all these companies that are promising AI and, and uh, throwing billions of dollars into it. Now, I've done some videos in the past talking about how ridiculous it is that they've been spending so much on this. But I'm also going to tell you that AI is not going away. And part of the reason that AI is not going away is that software development is way ahead of training. Weren't we just talking about that? We can't train people, right? But we can develop software quickly. So we can develop software more quickly than we can train people in it now. That's where it's gotten to, and that's where the world is, and we have to accept that. But what does that mean? That means that AI is going to have to step in and go through the documentation, and people are going to have to be trained through AI in the future. And as a matter of fact, our school system is so bad that we may have to use AI 
in the school system as well. Because AI can digest all of this information and you can ask it questions and get <laughs> some, you know, it has to get better. I'm not an idiot, okay? It has to get better, but it's not going away. So I think there's two sides to this, right? So companies are poorly managed, we know this. They're treating people like crap, we know this. It's going to be detrimental to some of these companies. We don't know this yet, but I'm predicting it, okay? But the other thing is that AI is selling off right now and people are losing a ton of money on the stock market. And part of this is that we it looks like now that all of North America is going into a recession. So that's also part of it. Um, but I still say that AI is not going away. And this is someone who, <laughs> you know, get, let's get things straight. I was not saying the nicest things about AI. But th th there, there are some positives com that come out of it, and you can use it in a very positive way. Um, I just don't like these large companies taking all of our data and using it uh, psychologically as a weapon against us, right? But, um, you know, for example, I have a friend who um, had some trouble with some of the software. Like, it was very in-depth software, and it was music-related. And he's like, oh, my God, like, going through all this is crazy. But, you know, he bought himself, like, uh, an AI kit, and he fed it all into there. And then he started saying, uh, do this. How do I do this? And the AI was kicking out the information. And that's where we're heading into the future. That is where we're heading. You cannot stop that. When you have... Uh, software that can read like it, it really comes down to how good is the data let's not get wrong about this if you have crappy data your AI is not going to save you but if you have good data and this comes back to always writing good documentation which I don't even see anymore let's be honest and a lot of the high tech I read the documentation or they just cancel things they have documentation saying do this and then you go there and like this service doesn't exist anymore we killed this you know like AWS and Google you know, drives me up the wall. But if your documentation is good, people can learn through AI once that once it digests that. So it's not going away. The sell-off is just as crazy as the bump up in AI. It's going to take some time, you know. Um, you know, Facebook say they're making money off of it, but they're making money off of it in the same way they always have, by mining our data. How long can that go on? I don't know. It could go on forever. <laughs> it could go on till the end of civilization. And uh, meta is the only thing standing. Who knows? But um, AI is not going away. And I'm not going to... I never make any... Uh, I, I don't give any advice on stocks or anything like that, and I'm not doing that now. I'm just saying, just because people are selling off AI doesn't mean that it's dead. It is certainly not. It is going to continue. Uh, but, you know, you have to find those places where it makes sense. So that's what I'm saying. So where is high tech right now? It's in a bit of a mess. We have, I think, a lot of um, a higher level um, managers, directors, CEOs, that don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of problems that I've mentioned in the last, uh, and we've seen in the last little while that should not exist, but they're happening because people are not allowing the proper engineers to make the decisions and to balance the risks. And that will get taken care of because, you know, you have enough bridges fail, people get fed up and they get rid of you, right? Um, engineering and software is just like engineering anywhere else. People may laugh at it and say that it's not serious. It's serious business as we have been learning. So uh, the thing I want to say, though, is that to people who are having difficulties, you know, this one person in DevOps, um, you're not alone. It's a mess out there right now. Um, you have probably trained lots of people and no one is training you right now. And it is an absolute failure of management. It is not your fault. Who can be expected to work 40, 50, and 60 hours a week and at the same time take 20 hours worth of courses on things that you don't even know if you're going to be using? 
It's an absolute disgrace, the world that we live in right now. Uh, people that work in other fields, if they saw what people go through in this field, they would be absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked and stunned in what people go through and the total lack of clarity on where things are going. Uh, that's my opinion on it right now. And, and, you know, I've made other videos in the past saying this reminds me of, you know, the dot-com bust. Yeah, it still reminds me of the dot-com bust because you've got people high up making decisions and there's a disconnect with reality. Uh, let's hope that things turn around. We're heading into a res recession. It looks like the market's all pointing to that. It's going to weed out a bunch of stuff. Um, it's going to bring down um, interest rates, which everyone wanted, but now everyone's so terrified, <laughs> right? But it's like, bring down interest rates, not like, not like this. We're heading into a real crap show. Who knows what's going to happen with the U.S. election, but uh, thank goodness I don't live there. Uh, this is all just my opinion. Thank you for watching and have a good night.